Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on the Future Hall of Famer and a big dog in this fight game. We have Keith, one time Thurman. We all know Keith is a big dog in this fight game. He is the former WBC and Super WBA Unified Welterweight World Champion. And he's still one of the top contenders in the Welterweight division to this day. And then we have Earl the True Spence Jr., the Future Hall of Famer, the King of the Welterweight division, the WBC, the IBF, and the Super WBA Unified World Champion. We know Earl is on everybody's top pound for pound list in this game. Now, Earl Spence Jr. is back in the ring, everybody. He's back training with Derrick James, getting ready for his big fight coming up, I believe, in May. You understand? I think the big announcement is coming in May, right? And um, he haven't set an opponent yet. We know Keith Thurman is one of the opponents, and he might just be going to 54 to fight somebody else. But we have to wait. But the big announcement and the big news is coming really soon, ladies and gentlemen. The big announcement and the big news is coming very soon, everybody. Hold on to your seats. Hold on to your horses. Hold on to whatever you're sitting by and that you can grab on to. Because Earl Spence is about to let you know what he's about to do very, very soon. Word out of the horse's mouth himself. You feel me? So EJ back in the ring. He's training very hard. We all know Dirk James is the trainer. He's showing um, the former heavyweight unified world champion, Anthony Joshua, a few tricks. Now, like I said, we all know Keith Thurman's name was mentioned as the next, you know what I'm saying, big fight for EJ at 154. And it's possible that it could be Keith one time Thurman at 154 pounds. Um, but we just have to wait and see. You understand? Everybody look at Keith Thurman that's been out the ring for a minute. We know he came back. He fought. Um, my man ended up going the distance, but he put him down. And a lot of people try to criticize Keith Thurman because he didn't stop Mario Berrios. Everyone, he fought, he went, he fought Mario Berrios and fought him to the distance. You know, a lot of people, well, Keith Thurman couldn't stop him. And, and Tank stopped him. Listen, man, different strokes for different folks. Keith Thurman went now. He won all 12 rounds. Majority of them, at least 10. And you know what I'm saying? He still is, is one of the top welterweights out there, and he's still a top contender. And now he's in position to face Earl the True Spence Jr., one of his rivals. And even though they, they haven't fought yet, they're still a rival because we know what goes on at the welterweight division over on the PBC side, homie. And Keith Thurman is somebody Earl Spence wanted to put down. And now, you know, look like he might get his opportunity. Now, we know some news came up about Terrence T. Bud Crawford and Earl Spence, that this fight can still be possible next. It can still be possible next. But some things came out with Terrence Crawford saying that Terrence Crawford was mandated to fight Alexis Rocha, who's up on the Golden Boy promotion. We all know Terrence Crawford is talking to um, Eddie Hearn right now about signing the three-fight contract over there with Rocha, Virgil Ortiz, and then somebody else after that. We don't know who that third opponent is going to be, but most definitely he won Alexis Rocha and Virgil Ortiz back-to-back. -back. And Terrence Crawford just might accept that contract because that's something that, you know, will be right up his alley. You know what I mean? A caliber of fighter of Alexis Rocha is what he want to fight, and that's what he's used to, and that's what he want to go in there and make a statement off of and ride off into the Hall of Fame on those caliber of fighters. You understand? He wanted no parts of Earl Spence because if he did, he would have signed that contract when the opportunity presented himself, and he turned it down, and he tried to blame it on PBC, Al Heyman, the contract, the date, the transparency, the venue, the money. He found everything to make an excuse on why not to fight Earl the True Spence Jr. And, you know, the the, the Terrence Crawford faggot nice, they all ran along with it, and they was A-OK -okay with what Terrence Bill Crawford, you know what I'm saying, put in the ring with him over Earl Spence. So now they're pissed off and mad because Earl Spence is moving on to fight his next opponent, which you're supposed to do when someone turn their back on you, acting like they want to fight. And then they go sign a contract to fight somebody else. Then guess what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to keep it moving, and you're supposed to find a contract to fight somebody else. And that's exactly what Earl Spence and the PBC did. Now, after this fight, Earl might swing the block and get his man another opportunity. And when he do, we'll see if Terrence Crawford step up to the plate, be a man, put his name on the dollar line, and let things happen and, and, and give us the biggest fight in boxing so we all can say, you know what? Them boys gave us something special. You know what I'm saying? Something that's going to last a lifetime and a fight that's going to go down in history. But until then, y'all quit hating on Earl Spence. Let Earl Spence do his thing. Earl Spence going to move on his chessboard the way he want to move on his chessboard, just like Terrence Bud Crawford is moving on his chessboard the way he want to move on his chessboard. Now, we all know Godfather Al 
is looking to make the biggest and the best fights for Earl Spence. I'm going to repeat that. Godfather Al Heyman always looks to make the big and the best fights for Earl the True Spence Jr. to make his legacy Hall of Fame worthy where nobody can ever question, ever question his heart, his will, his determination, his, and his willingness to fight any and everybody, bro. You feel me? Earl Spence want to fight any and everybody. But if they don't want to fight you, there's nothing you can do. So when you're looking at the 154-pound division, if it's going to be Keith Thurman first at 154, it's very, very, very understandable, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it. Keith Thurman is one of the top shotters at the welterweight division. Keith Thurman only fought at the welterweight division, meaning he can move up to 54 or 60 whenever he's ready to because he's tired of making 147, just like Earl Spence is tired of making 147. These boys been at 147 for a while now, and Keith Thurman turned professional before Earl Spence, so he been at 147 longer than EJ. So I can understand if Thurman say, you know what, I do want to go to 54 and fight Earl Spence, and I can, I don't have to worry about losing the extra seven pounds. That does my body well. That does my body well, just like it does Earl the True Spence Jr. body well to not lose that extra seven pounds. We might see the best Keith Thurman we ever seen in boxing. I say we might see the best Keith Thurman that we ever seen in boxing now that you get to keep that extra seven pounds. You feel me? And when you put Keith Thurman name next to the guys at 154, he fits right in, bro. He fits right in. Now, Earl Spence going up to 154. Y'all give me one name. One name at 154 that's better than Keith one time Thurman. You can say, oh, man, shit, Keith ain't got shit on this person, this person, that person, this person. Give me one name. And tell me whether they accomplished more than Keith Thurman. Tell me, have they ever been unified world champion? Tell me, have they ever fought a Manny Pacquiao, a Sean Porter? You understand? A Danny Garcia. You feel me? Or a fighter of that magnitude, of that caliber, on that level. You feel me? Come on now. These haters want to hate on EJ. Keep on trying to hate. But Earl Spence is fighting the best of the best. If he fight Keith Thurman at 154, Keith Thurman is one of the best. After he fight Keith Thurman, he going for a world title or a contender. You dig what I'm saying? He might just get in that thing with fucking um, the boy that just got knocked out by um, Jamel Charlo to become the undisputed champion of the world who he fought, Brian Castano. You know what I'm saying? He might just fight Brian Castano after Keith Thurman. Or he might just go out the front door after Keith Thurman because Earl Spence ain't coming to play around. He ain't coming to play around. Like he say, I don't want no tune-ups. I want nothing but the best of the best, homie. And he been proving that. He been proving that left and fucking right. Left and fucking right. He been giving us nothing but the best versus the best. But these cats don't give him his just doing his credit because they want to hate on him. And that's terrible out here when people say they're big-time boxing fans and they're looking at somebody that's doing great things and giving us big-time fights, fight after fight after fight, just so he can please the fans and please the people, and they don't get his man his credit because they want to praise somebody else that's giving them low turf fights. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, the big news, the big announcement is coming very soon with Earl the True Spence Jr. and what he's going to do next. He might just drop those titles and let them boys at 147 do their thing, and he going to do his thing at 154. You know what I'm saying? The titles that Earl Spence possesses, the WBC, the IBF, and the Super WBA, they might all become vacant. And then Jerron Boops in his Virgil Ortiz, Rashidi Ellis, all the boys at 147, they can now go out there and fight to become world champion. We know Keith Thurman, I mean, sorry, we know Terrence Crawford is going to try his best. He's going to try his best to go out there and become undisputed at 147 after Earl Spence drop him and go to 54 because he feel like everybody else he can walk through. Everybody else he can walk through. I know a lot of people going to say, well, what about Jerron Boots Ennis? Boots want the bull fight. He can't walk through bull with Terrence Crawford. I think he can walk through Jerron Boots Ennis. He just ain't trying to fight him right now because Earl Spence is still at 147. And people going to say, why you ain't trying to fight EJ? That's the only reason why. But trust me, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to try to get into that ring with Boots. He's going to try it. He's going to, he's going to try to fight Virgil Ortiz. Yes, he is. But he don't want no smoke with EJ, bro. He don't want that smoke with EJ for real. He's waiting for Earl Spence to go up to 154, and then he's going to make his next move, you know? And, and it might just be soon because Earl Spence ain't fit to sit around and, and, and procrastinate over no Terrence Crawford. You feel me? He's going to fight this fight at 154. What if it's Keith Thurman or somebody else? 
He go come back to the big dogs and say, hey, let's see if we can get Terrence Crawford again. He's going to give him another opportunity at greatness. And if Terrence Crawford don't accept that fucking challenge, y'all better grill his ass. You Terrence Boy Crawford faggonites, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to save him so bad. If that boy don't take that fight with Earl Spence after getting a second opportunity and y'all don't say nothing about it, I'm on, I'm on y'all ass, man. I'm on y'all ass. Period, fam. Shots out to EJ. Shots out to Godfather Al. Shots out to one time Keith Thurman. Let's see what Earl Spence say. Let's see what announcement he make. Let's see who he choose to fight. And let's see if he choose to drop them titles or he want to stay one more at 147 to fight Keith Thurman for us, the fans. For us, the fans. Once again, Earl Spence, if you want to stay at 47 for one more fight, for us, the fans. That's what you call big dog shit. That's what you call legendary shit. And that's what you call a future Hall of Famer. Keep doing your thing, EJ. Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Want to donate OG Money on Cash App? Trey Hot 52 at gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.